Welcome to Modern Light Workshop. My name is Matt, and today we've got a pretty exciting project. This box just arrived in the mail straight from the Amazon, from Amazon.com. I opened it up, I took a little peek, I was a little excited. But what we're gonna be doing with this shelf, we're gonna be building this together, assembling it kind of like with IKEA furniture, and then we're going to upgrade it, turn it into an ultra modern, ultra slick shelf, because we're adding some really dope LED lights to it. So let's get to building and we'll catch up with you in a minute. Just so you know, we've got CJ here helping us build today. Yeah, let's do it. Screws and good. They actually did send instructions. Okay, that's always the that's always kind of the the worry <laughs> that they don't send instructions. So in our haste to get this sucker built, we found out now a little late that we actually need to have a few of these holes in different points on here. So what we're having to do now, unfortunately, is go back and undo about half of this and reassemble it. So hold tight, we're gonna make this quick. I know we we're, so, were so close to having this thing ready to go, but we got this one little hiccup in the road. We'll get this fixed, and this thing will be built in a moment's notice. All right, so we finally got the top portion assembled. Now, we're gonna take this, and I'm gonna attach it up here. Line this up. So here's the base, and now we've got the top. And after this, once we get this lined up, what we're gonna do, folks, is get some light strips to light up around here, uh, get this thing looking super clean. And that's gonna be the real meat of what we're doing today. So strap in as we get ready for that. All right, so now that we've got this all put together, we found there's an area we need to improve on. And with this, due to the materials and the tolerances involved, there are gaps in which the inside of the wood is exposed and it provides a look that's not quite as clean as we're going for. So as a result, we're gonna clean this up a little bit more by locking and loading and applying a little caulk. Now we've got a pretty thorough layer of caulk applied to the edges that needed it most. And this frees us up to move on to cutting channel. I had to recut a couple of these channel segments because they were a little too long. And now we'll be able to add the adhesive so this doesn't just fall off. And we don't have to just balance it. All right, 
right, so we have now got the adhesive applied. The channel is stuck in here. It's been cut correctly to the right tolerances. So, what do you think? All right, so we now have Marty here, a friend of the channel. I brought him in to help us out with the wiring process. Yeah, so we're gonna actually use Aspect LED RGB L-series strip lights, and it's gonna go around the perimeter of these openings. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on that. We need to make sure we've got wire lead ends on them. So. Oh, so each one needs to be like... You need at least... So on this reel, you're gonna have a so, second one that's... Yeah. So, but this reel can only do two. Correct. Two of these, okay. Yeah, and then the others will have to throw leads on. All right, so we decided that the tape was not quite sticky enough, as you can see here. So we decided to yeah, countersink this, make sure the strip lights go on there flush as well as put in half-inch screws to just make sure these stay on here real nice and solid. We're just going through, we're doing our countersinking, and then putting in our screw. Sometimes it can take a minute with this just because the material's a little tough. for our next step where we're gonna bring Marty back and help us out with wiring up the back section of this unit here. Two hours later. So we have our leads to all of our strips coming out on the back side here. And we've come up with a pattern that we want these to light up with. So we've got, these two are gonna be lit up at the same time. These two are gonna be lit up. And this is gonna be its own thing unless we do this. And this will be its own thing. So we're putting every, all the controls down here in the base. And so to do that, we've got to get these leads extended down here. But we want it to look clean. And to do that, we're going to be splicing in some lead wire. So I've got some RGB splice wire here. So it's got four conductors, black, green, red, blue. We're going to be splicing that into these wires here. Now, there's a couple ways you could do that. You could just take this and go doot, 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 like this, and just splice them with solder and heat shrink tubing. The problem with doing that, though, is you get this like clump of wires. So we're actually staggering our wires. So you can see here, I cut my wires, like this joint will be offset, this will be offset. They'll all be kind of their own place so that when we shrink it down, it'll all just look kind of seamless. It'll, it'll be less bulk in one location. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim that and then strip it. So we got a red, we got our green. Now our blue is our next shortest one, so I'm going to trim that right there. So we bring Marty in when it gets to the most complicated stage of this. When it gets to the big brain stuff, that's when we bring in the big guns. We're going to twist those together like that. And I was like, oh, we're filming? I'm not going to shave. <laughs> that on all the other wires here and then we'll just take and run these wires all inside of the base. We now have this wired up coming to these controller units here in the power supply and we have this broken down into each of the four light zones we have. So we have light zone one and one here which are matching and synced up. We have two and two here and we have three, and we have like four, which are separate zones. And each one of these is designated to a controller here, and this helps us control the colors separately. So the next stage of this is a bit of the old cable management, where we're gonna take some white electrical tape to blend in, and this is all gonna be in the back anyway, so we're gonna collect these wires, 
and tape them up and thread them through down to the bottom where we're gonna put these units underneath. We'll drill a hole through so we can get our cords in. And once we have all the cable management working, that's gonna take us to our last point, which is testing this thing out, seeing how the lights look. You need fingernails, man. Well, if I get big fingernails, then they're gonna, the big fingernails are gonna tear. I don't wanna have big fingernails. I could bite it, but I don't wanna get like whatever weird plastics are in this. <laughs> All right, so we got the biggest drill bit we could find after finishing taping this up for the cable management. It's a bit crazy because we got so many cords, but it's about to be clean pretty soon. So we're gonna take this, it's up to the edge here, drill our initial hole in to route stuff through, and then we'll drill another hole off to the side where we can pull the power cable out. So we'll just go ahead and do that. All right, now we've got this all taped up and we're gonna be putting this underneath. All right, so we've got this flipped on the back and we've got these controller units here. We could have taped them up potentially, but it wouldn't have looked quite as clean and over time with moving this around, controllers might've come loose. So we figured a surefire bet would be to just screw these in, keep everything very neat look tidy, get easy to access later. So we've got some screws here. We're just gonna put them into on the right and the left side of each of these. Without these falling over, they're not screwed in yet. And the results should speak for themselves. Ready? Yep. Gentlemen, this is the moment that you and I have been waiting for this whole time. We have cut all the channel, we put this together, we've applied caulk, we've cut the wires, we've wired it up, we've got the power supply and the controllers wired into the back and hooked up. So we're going to find out if all the wiring, if all the cords, if all the controllers and the power supply, if all these separate components are working correctly. So I've got the controller here in my hand. We can hit the button and see for ourselves in three, two, one. Hey, and it works. Let's go, great job. CJ helped out a lot. We got a lot of help from the folks here at Modern Light Workshop and it has paid off. Let's try out some different colors. All right, yeah, we got the whole gamut here. So we're gonna we're gonna mess around with the colors a bit, see how we can get these to work in different modes. But as of now, it is doing what we want. exciting building project. We've got a lot more content coming up in the future, so stick with us as we produce some pretty cool projects. For Matt and Modern Light Workshop, thank you for joining us. See you next time.